a whole set HY35 that I did a rebuild and upgrade to. We used the 67 millimeter HX40 compressor wheel in this, and the upgrades are the same as the HX35 model, and the upgrade options are also the same as if we did an upgrade for the H1C model. But with the H1C model, we use the HX collar to be able to offer the HX upgrades with the H1C model. I machined the compressor housing out, so I'll put a little clip of me machining that. I have to surface it on the front because it's not often perfect symmetry with the front to the back. So I have to get the symmetry right here so that when I line it up on the back, everything will be correct. The difference in the HY model versus the HX35 is the HY came on the automatic trucks. The HY looks different because the way it's got this uh, area here, which a wastegate actuator bolts directly to this part, and the there's like a nipple off of the wastegate that goes directly in here and mounts with an O-ring. The turbine housing is only a 9CM, so it's very similar in size to the HE351 CW, which is right here, but this one, they have a four inch outlet. The turbine housing, I machined out to the 67 millimeter turbine wheel. I also have to machine this plate out to make it so it's larger than this bore, which I cut the bore for the turbine wheel to 60, 7.8 millimeter, 0.8 millimeter larger than the turbine, and then I CNC the radius. So I'll show you what that looks like in this machining video. The turbine housing I machined out to the 67 millimeter turbine wheel. everything for the upgrade so the upgrade option the wheels are the same as the HX model and the same that we do for the H1C model but the difference is you're using an HY35 turbo which 
the bearing housing, compressor or compressor housing and the turbine housing are all different. So none of these parts will bolt onto an HX series because of that, besides the internals, which is in the center cartridge. Like the turbine wheel and the compressor wheel and the rebuild kit are basically the same thing. Another difference with the HY is that you see it connect, connects here with a V-band or yeah, V-band connection. So that's a little bit different because the HX model bolts together with a bolt pattern or four bolts and two clamps. HY35 also does not have the divider here that you'll see on the HX model. And the CW that you see here also doesn't have that divider. This is a 9CM turbine housing. The H the HX 35s usually had a 12 cm. Some of them had 14. There's also a 16, 18, and 21 cm. And there may be some other odd sizes too that I haven't mentioned. But this is the HY35 turbo upgrade for the automatic trucks. If you didn't want to do the upgrade on the HY turbo, you could do the HX35 upgrade and then just swap that turbo on there. So if you just wanted to buy a turbo that's a direct fit for your truck and you didn't want to do the HY, we could just build the HX model for you and then you can just sell your original turbo. That way you could get the turbo that you want for your truck. 